Okay, so here is the starting physique. I haven't eaten anything yet. I uh, just started my day. It's about 8, 10 a.m. right now. Check out the gains. I haven't had a single thing yet. We'll see how this goes. See how fat I get. Lose all of this by the end of the day. I've also got a before picture that's much more uh, revealing. So I'll post that up right there. Now let's weigh in. So coming in on the left corner, weighing approximately 221.2 pounds. We've got your boy. Tanner Wyman of Barbarian Body. So I'm gonna do my final weigh-in a little bit later tonight, actually at the end of the day tonight, uh, to see how much weight I gained after eating all 10,000 calories of this. So stay tuned till the end of the video to see that. All right, starting the day off right, McDonald's. Hi there, how may I help you? Can I get uh, two bacon uh, breakfast sandwiches and one sausage breakfast sandwich? Perfect, thank you very much. What is up, bro chachos? It's your boy Tanner Wyman of Barbarian Body. Today I've got for you guys the 10,000 calorie challenge. Now, it seems like everybody's done this, everybody is doing this, so I figured I might try it myself. Oh, it's so tough. We're gonna see if it's actually that tough and if I'm gonna be able to do it. I will put money on this that I will be able to do this. Hopefully, I live up to my promise right there. And for all of you guys who haven't been to my channel, I run a fitness and nutrition channel. I cover all different types of exercises, workouts, advice, bulking advice, fat loss advice, all kinds of fitness and nutrition stuff. So if you're interested after this video, then be sure to give your boys subscribe and check out some more of my videos. Other than that, I'm gonna be tracking all of the calories through my fitness pal just to ensure that everything is tracked to the T so that I can do this 100% and uh, show everybody how easy this thing is, hopefully. Let's get into this. All right, now it's time to commence the eating. We've got here the bacon and egg another bacon and egg, and a sausage and egg. And what I'm gonna try and do is epic mealtime style and just stack them all on top of each other and see if I can eat them like that. Okay, now I'm gonna try and take a bite of this. This is going to be one of the most ridiculous things I've ever done. Sorry, the lighting's a little bit better here. You see this size? It's like half the size of my head. There we go. Just turned all over me. I'm going back to eating it regular. Meal number one complete, that one was a thousand calories. And just for reference, we are currently at, can't get that in there without the glare, 8.51 a.m. Okay, it is now 10.02, hopefully you're able to see that there. And I'm about to get into meal number two. I'm preparing this, and like I said, epic meal time. I'm trying to make this crazy. We've got a pizza, right, and then bacon. I'm gonna layer all of this bacon over top of this and put it in the oven. The oven's currently preheating right now. And let me show the calories that are in this thing. 210 calories for 50 grams. This entire package right here, 375 grams. So, if you add that all up with the pizza, which is 330 calories for one sixth of the pizza, that's precisely a lot of calories. I'm gonna add it up, it's right here, here. Look at that, that's, like, that's nuts. So I'm gonna go with that to start off and uh, let's get it. So here's what the pizza was supposed to look like. Here's what it looks like now. That is, yes, a full pack of bacon. Now, this is probably gonna be one of the most disgusting things I've ever done, but you gotta do it for the 10,000 calorie challenge. And I still got a lot more to go after this. Let's go. All right, moment of truth, let's see it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Is this legal? Ta frickin' da. Incredible, huh? We've got a full pack of bacon wrapped over this entire thing. You know, I did my best to get all that grease down in between each one of these little holes. Holy hell, let's get this thing. I'm gonna start with the uh, biggest piece here. Now, as you can see, I was about to say, the weight of this, it's heavy. Now this actually tastes pretty damn good. It just tastes like extra crazy good pizza. It is bomb as hell, 3,600 3, calories just from this. I've hacked the system with this one.
done one half. Messy as hell. One half of that pizza. I'm feeling okay. Feeling okay. That's another mm, about 1,800 calories I just got there. On top of my other 1,000 calories. Right now we're sitting at roughly 2,800 calories. And it's only 11.46. We're doing good. Okay, it's time to give myself a little bit of a break from eating the uh, pizza with the bacon and all that salty stuff. And we're gonna go on to some of the more sweeter things I've got here. We've got now this. My Dairy Queen Treatsa Pizza. So we got 190 calories per serving for each one of these slices. And check out how bomb this looks. So 190 calories in each piece. I'm gonna just start off with eating one of these. That's pretty good. Treats pizzas. The one that I got here is oh my god, Frank Cruz. Uh, M and M flavor. They got like Reese's peanut butter and uh, score. I was gonna get the score, but I was like, this one's so colorful. I want this one. Super good. I realize how gross it is. I know. Now it's time to finish the second piece. I got bacon all over it. This is actually really good, and this is a super good change of pace from this pizza with the bacon on it. Getting kind of sick of that. But I've still got my secret weapon. Now I'm gonna turn to a little bit later. Okay. Piece number two is done. I'm actually gonna get one more. Be right back. Piece number three. Time to mash this one too. That is super good. Pizza pizza. Damn, that's good. That's an extra roughly about 600 calories, bringing us to, bringing us to a grand total of 3,430 calories. I'm gonna try and get this in there. So, we're doing pretty good. This means I'm now at one third of the way there, one third of the way there to 10,000 calories, and it's only 12.55, I'm telling you man, get this autofocus is tough. We're doing good, I'm gonna chill for now. Get some work done for Barbarian Body, I'll see you guys for the next thing that I'm about to eat. Next on the docket, or I don't know what they say when they're saying that word. You know what I'm trying to get at here. Glazed donuts. I'm gonna have two right now. We got about 250 calories a piece in this, so it'll be another 500 calories, leaving me at roughly about 4,000 calories. After that, I got 6,000 calories left, and it currently is 241. So we're doing pretty good for time. So at this point right now, it's like holy, I got a lot of calories, but I still gotta get my workout in. Um, I'm gonna try and get one more meal in before I go to workout, and then after that, I should be pretty damn hungry and be able to fit in another couple thousand more calories. Let's get it. Man, those are so easy. That's like the easiest 250 calories ever. I'm going for three. Okay, there we go. That was like the easiest 750 calories ever. I'm gonna have one more actually. Bingo, thousand calories. Those are really good too. You know what? Yeah. I'm gonna have one more. Another 250. That now brings me up to about mm, 4,700 calories. Doing good. I'm about at the halfway point. And again, it's still only 249. So I was just on YouTube watching a bunch of other guys do their 10,000 calorie challenges. And I think I figured out the secret and I've been going out this the wrong way. It's all about sugary snacks. Those donuts had 250 calories in each and every single one of them. So I think I'm gonna go more of the road of eating more of the junk food because I'll tell you that bacon covered pizza was ridiculously tough. So I'm gonna mash the uh, the rest of those donuts and yeah, checking in right now, I'm at about half smokes poutinery. I called them to get the exact amount of calories that's in my actual secret weapon. Yeah, the reason I was calling was just to figure out um, the exact amount of calories that you guys had in your cheeseburger poutine, like your biggest size. For the wild size, right? Is that, is that the biggest one? Yeah, so the amount is, um, it's 2,390. 2,390 calories, so basically 2,400? It's for a 10,000 calorie challenge where you try and eat 10,000 calories in a full day's period. So far I'm at 4,640 calories. You have a good day. No problem. You too. Bye. I know. Okay, so now it looks like uh, my secret came out. That was my secret hack. The smoked poutinery cheeseburger poutine. I don't even normally eat poutines because I don't really like gravy and stuff and cheese curds, but I'm Canadian. I'm gonna save that for later after I, uh, after I do one of my workouts here. First things first here. 
I'm gonna have two more of these donuts because these things go down so easily. Extra 250 calories a piece. Boom, another easy 500 calories. I'm just gonna do another one, might as well. Oh yeah, and for everybody that's gonna be commenting about how eating and manners and stuff, this is not a fine dining experience. I was not here to present that. I'm here to present to you eating 10,000 calories in one day. I'm eating like a barbarian. I got about four more of these left. Um, I'm just gonna get through three of them right now before I go to the gym and get my workout in. Uh, I just passed out because you have these crazy sugar rushes from these and then obviously the crash from the sugar, you're just exhausted. So I fell asleep for like 10 or 15 minutes, but another 750 calories, workout, and then I gotta get in more food. After 11 of those donuts, they're still good. All right, I'm 6,000 calories in right now, and now it's time to get in my workout. Whether it's gonna be a lower body workout, that's what I'm leaning towards, so I can burn the most amount of calories, and then I gotta get in my uh, 10 to 15 minutes cardio, and here's the gym. For all of you who are wondering, it's not a gym. <laughs> It's a home gym, it's one of my clients. Uh, that's where I work out, that's where I film all the videos. So it's time to get this workout, burn some of these calories off and then get back to finishing uh, my final 4,000 calories. Let's get it, you dig. Still at 6,000 calories. Unfortunately, both days just happened to be leg day and 10,000 calorie day challenge. So I'm really feeling the effects of it right now. But the good thing is, because it's on leg day, I'm gonna be able to burn a large majority of the amount of calories. So. I'm pushing through. Just finished at the gym, got in a killer lower body workout. Look at this. This is like the craziest stuff. What do you want? What do you want? She just wants to scratch. Decided not to do my cardio though because. I need to get back to this eating. I got 4,000 more calories. What do you think, Sandy? It's a lot? It's a lot. I am just realizing how much that is. That is ridiculous. That is like two pounds of poutine. All right, bacon cheeseburger poutine. This thing is monstrous. And try fishes. My goal is to get half. Be amazing if I can do the full thing though. here so a little bit more than half I'm gonna chill on this for now thank god for sriracha though and Sandy okay I'm gonna go finish off the last half of this thing that will bring me up to about because we're at 64 now it'll be 24 so 8800 and then I'll need a final 1200 calories I hope I have my math right and it currently is 9 12 p.m. Not too late, but I'm exhausted. So, I'm trying to get this done as soon as possible. You waste time.
Okay, it is officially the next day, and unfortunately I was not able to get to my 10,000 calories. All I was able to get is 8,360. I think you just gotta put it where your face is. Eh, if you guys can't see it, I'm gonna throw up a screenshot right now. 8,360 calories. That poutine that I tried to finish off there absolutely destroyed me. And actually the reason that I wasn't recording too much of me talking uh, while I was doing that was because it was getting kind of late and my parents were trying to go to sleep. So I didn't want to interrupt what they were trying to do from being loud on camera. Going, oh yeah, we're about to eat this poutine and I'm so psyched, oh my God. So I was trying to be respectful to them. Uh, I kept it kind of quiet. After I'd finished that three quarters of the poutine, it was about mm, like 10... 15 p.m. at night. I was just getting so tired. I wanted to go to sleep. I could have honestly stayed up till about, you know, midnight or like 1 a.m. and I would have been able to finish it, but I was just so exhausted and I have so much to do actually today. So, you know, I was just like, you know what, screw it. I don't even want to. And the quality of my feeling at that point, I felt like I'm so, I felt like crap, terrible. It was not fun. My stomach just was, yeah. Not fun. So I also managed to get you guys some updates on my physique the next day, which is today. And I got these morning physique uh, videos and pictures. So if you're able to compare these with the ones that I had at the very beginning, there are some changes. Honestly, I haven't even taken a look to see what the changes are, but I imagine that there are some changes. Um, but this is gonna be very easy for me to handle because I have my process to easily switch this stuff and manage to lose fat and build lean muscle mass incredibly quickly. And that's for my step-by-step 14-week -step physique sculpting program. You don't actually need the full 14 weeks to see results. I'll probably be back to normal by next week just from following it. So um, if you guys are interested in that, then there's a link in the description that'll say 14 week physique sculpting program. You guys can check it out. And then, you know, if you have a cheat day or a cheat week, the same way that I might've had for yesterday doing the 10,000 calorie challenge and you need a quick fix or something that's going to get your results and do the same thing that I'm doing. It's literally the process that I've used. Other than that, guys, 10,000 calorie challenge, it, uh, it beat me this time. I think I'm gonna try and revisit in a couple more months um, with a better strategy, more sugary, and I think I'm gonna beat it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, then be sure to give your boy a like down below, and also be sure to subscribe for weekly workout tips and nutrition tips that you will not want to miss. Thanks so much for joining me, you guys. I'll see you in the next video.